Hello and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. Welcome to Season 12 and a new day that brings with it new opportunities. It's Monday. My goal is to put a smile on your face today. So I'm asking if you would pay close attention to the end of the podcast session for an exciting opportunity. I was about 10 years old living in South Florida and I had a 10 speed bike. I could wheelie that bike through three gears all the way around the block. I had done it many times and loved it when people watched me. (laughs) One day while doing my usual wheelie around the block, my front tire came off the bike. In my mind, I thought I'll just ride it to the ditch and be okay to bail off. Well, I didn't make it to the ditch because I ran out of pedal. And as a result, my front forks dug into the street, throwing me headfirst over the handlebars. I landed on my chin and slid. When I stood up, I noticed blood was running down my shirt, and when I lifted my hand to my face, it filled with blood, and my neighbor came out and took me in her house to get me cleaned up and help stop the bleeding while contacting my mom. You know, looking in a mirror as she called my mom, I noticed there was a big chunk of skin missing from my chin. My showing off my abilities had really cost me this time. Eight stitches. A lot of pain. Um, You know... That's how it is sometimes, spiritually speaking. It might seem like we're soaring by means of our own efforts and then the front wheel comes off and we run out of pedal and wreck. It can get real messy when it happens too. It's interesting that the only time we are encouraged to strive in the new covenant is when we're told to strive to enter into the rest God offers through Christ where we cease from our own works and have strong confidence in His. He's not asking us to show off our own abilities. He's asking us to show the world what his son has done and how rich a reward it is to know Jesus. If you feel like you're running out of pedal or have crashed and burned, there's grace available for you. No shame, no condemnation. Jesus will love you and tend your wounds if you'll let him do so. He's not looking for a superhuman. He's come to bring many sons into glory where our effort seems effortless because of the presence and power of God working in and through us. Let him bring you into his rest today where you cease from your own works and revel in what he has done and is doing. Learn to enjoy him and relax into him and allow him to take you in his strength where you need to go. It's way more exciting and rewarding when you do. You know, I'd like to hear one of your stories in order to share it here. It needs to be vulnerable, humorous, and definitely around two to three minutes tops. Email me at goodnewsthatactuallyis at gmail.com and we will set up how you can get it to me. If it is selected for sharing, you will be notified as to when it will air. But for that to happen, you'll have to get it recorded and sent to me. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son, Jesus Christ, willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, Good news that actually is.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day!